Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is energy balls and these are made using dates, nuts, and um, oats. It's very easy, very simple, and it's a very creative recipe you can um, just make using dates because um, as you all know, Ramadan is approaching, so happy Ramadan in advance even though it's two weeks early. But uh, everyone has started preparing for Ramadan, I guess, and um, this is a nice recipe you can make for Ramadan because it's very simple, very easy, and it tastes amazing. Uh, so it's very easy. I'll show you how to make. To make these energy balls, you're going to need half a kilogram of dates, which we've made into a paste. Here we have 250 grams of uh, roasted nuts, and we have a mixture of walnuts, almonds, and cashews. Uh, toasted sesame seeds, we don't really have a measurement here, they'll be used much later. 100 grams of, ro of toasted oats, half a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon and half a teaspoon of cardamom powder and one to two tablespoons of orange blossom water. Our first step is to take our nuts and we'll put it into a food processor and we'll just pulse it because we don't want it a powder, we still want like bits and pieces in there just for some texture. So we've pulsed it and this is how it should be. Uh, now we're just put uh, we're just going to put it into um, a large mixing bowl where we're going to just work our dough. Same food processor, we're going to just um, blend our oats until it's a fine powder. If you like it this way, you can totally keep it. We've got our desired consistency, which as you can see, um, practically oat flour. We're also going to add it to our nuts in the large mixing bowl. And now we just mix those around with just a small spoon. And then we add our dates. Now we add in our cardamom powder and cinnamon. Now we add in our orange blossom water. just mix this around and this one is very hard and sticky so uh you need to use your hand instead of a spoon and just put on a glove and uh you'll just mix it until you get a fine paste so uh after we've turned it into a paste uh this requires a lot of arm strength so you really need to be patient with it um, as for the the nuts and the oat, uh, if you don't want to use oats, that's completely fine. You can use, uh, instead you can pull some biscuits, uh, plain biscuits of course. You can uh, add cocoa powder, you can add coconut. It really depends on your preferences. This is what we have currently like available in our house, so uh, we've used it. Now we uh, just start, uh, we take a little bit and we roll out small balls. And once we have small balls, we just uh, put them in our uh, sesame. So after we've just uh, coated them with uh, our toasted sesame, we're just going to put them in these uh, cute little liners, I guess. I just saw them and they looked so cute and so perfect for this recipe. And I will continue this process until I run out of, um, I guess, the paste mixture. So this is what they look like now that we've uh, just served them into like a much smaller plate. Uh, I've uh, dusted some in uh, sesame and some in coconut as you can see. Uh, because some people in this household, specifically my mom, loves coconut. So uh, these are for her mostly. You can also like uh, dust them in anything you want. So they could be pistachios, some other type of nuts, uh, cocoa powder. You can even leave them plain. I think that works just fine. So let's try one. One knows how I feel about coconut, so I'm going to uh, avoid those. And we'll try one with sesame. So um, it tastes amazing. Uh, it's a very smooth uh, consistency on its own. And I'm so glad I actually like just pulsed the nuts instead of like blending them into a full powder because that gave them some texture. And then there's also texture from the, the dusted sesame. 
and overall you can't really taste the dates so this is good for like anyone who doesn't like dates or like even kids as they tend to be very picky about dates and nuts so you can make these for them and they don't they won't really notice the taste of either because they work together and like they make this amazing um amazing dessert or snack i i guess you can say i think that this is also the perfect way to get me to try other types of dates because as everyone knows in this family i'm very picky about the type of dates i eat there's only one type i will ever eat and i refuse to try anything else i don't know why i have a very open-minded palate i guess and i'm willing to try all types of foods and cuisines from my channel but um just dates there are dates is among one of those things that are very much off limits and i'm not going to try any other type so this is good to get me to try another type of dates this brings us to the end of today's video again if you like this type of content please like share subscribe comment down below and follow me on facebook and instagram so you guys can support me to make more content thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye